Um, welcome to Jits Quips. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We have Reese, and then we've got Adam, and we've got Josh. And today's um, episode is going to be focused on rolling. Adam, how long have you been training Jiu Jitsu? So I've been training Jiu Jitsu uh, just shy of two years. I remember in, uh, in the original sand pit in your house, we put the geese on and you said, jump into my guard. And then we did some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was hooked ever since. So yeah, I yeah, just got my blue belt this year and I've done a couple of competitions. So what month did you get your blue belt? I got my blue belt, blue belt in February this year. How long did it take you to get your blue belt? About a year, a year's training. It's interesting to see myself enjoy and improve at a sport that I never thought I could do and that I thought I'd never be interested in. And then Josh, um, how long have you been training? Uh, about three years. Three years? Yes, yeah, I think I've done it for about a year before I tried roping Adam into it. Uh-huh. And you're a blue belt? Yeah, yeah, so I've been a blue belt for uh, two years. And then uh, Reese. Yes. Do you want to recap us um, on how you started with jiu-jitsu? Yes, um, I started at Next Gen in Liverpool in January 2018. Um, I was there for about a year and a half. Went up to Durham for my final year of university. Did about four, five months at a gym called Fifth Element. There's cracking gym in Durham, reached around the black belt, he's a coach, and Bobby Patterson, who's a black belt in judo, sort of vet some third or fourth down. I think he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, um, he's the owner. A really good gym, good focus on gi and no gi, Lot, quite wrestling and judo heavy, so they have very good competitors, strong on their feet. Uh, I was there till January 2020, and then stopped when all the COVID malarkey happened. It took three years out and started at Trident in Bromborough, at the very end of January this year. Mm -hmm. So I've been cracking on since then, um, been going as much as I can. Let's get to the rolling. Um, so we're gonna have a few rolls today. First of all, uh, Adam and Josh are gonna roll. Now, these guys are um, regular partners. So you know how each other moves. You know who's better. Or <laughs> you yeah. know what you're gonna try. Ooh. All right, all right. So, so let's just put it out there. Who is better? Yep. With Adam. <laughs> yeah, I'll say it. Um, what would you say, Adam? I would say me. Yeah, we yeah. tap each other. You know. Although I've been in the sport longer, like the way that you learn technique, it like you're really methodical. Um, you can sort of half show Adam a technique and then roll immediately, and he can implement it. Like there's no sort of delay on um, figuring yeah. it out. And I'm, I'm much slower in my application from technique to being able to actually deploy it in live sparring. Yeah, do you think that, that Adam will always, you'll always consider Adam to be better? Or do you think you'll have a chance to catch up? Um, no, nah, we're working at it. Um, working at it? Yeah, we're working at it. Do, do you think that that's an appropriate question for me to ask who's better? Like, c considering you two are regular partners yeah. and your friends as well. What do you need to be careful with, with uh, from Josh? Or what do you know he's gonna try? Yeah, Josh is a submission hunter. Um, you can tell he's got a very unique style. He loves attacking uh, the wrist locks, the toe holds, the, uh, the heel hooks, the kimuras, and a uh, you know, mean guillotine as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, sometimes I'm rolling with him and I can't attack because like, I'm protecting one foot and then one wrist and then one foot. So like it's, I'm just defending from one thing to another. He's very good at transitioning. So yes. um, yeah, I've got to be careful to uh, take it at my pace, I would say. What do you need to watch out from uh, Adam? Jim's dangerous from every position. So I can't, there's never a moment that I have the ability to relax in a role with you. Like wherever I get you to, I know you're a threat. So I have to constantly be trying to transition to a point where I know I've got a little bit more proficiency. Um, you're a nightmare sub hunter as well. Like I know arm bars and triangles from everywhere. Um, so I, I just gotta try and protect my neck. Um, yeah, I can't keep you off my back at the minute either. I don't know where that <laughs> comes from. Hey. What seminar you've been on. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, that's gonna be a, right, a good the role. The seminars are legit. Sorted. Who have you had on recently? Yeah. Uh, we had a seminar weekend, which was really good. So we had uh, Tarek uh, Hopstock, oh. we had Ashley Williams, and we had Dan Strauss. And we learned, obviously, Tariqa Plata from a range of positions, 
we had Ashley Williams teaching how to turtle really effectively and defend back attacks and then we had Dan Strauss who taught a seminar on the mount and it was actually a lot of what he taught was about the the mindset of jiu-jitsu and he said something that I kind of knew myself but when he said it like I really focused on it and that was when you're on the back why do you have it in your head that every second that you're not submitting this dude you're losing and you're yeah. like come on why is this guy still yeah. breathing I'm so shit and then actually, why are we doing that? Just take your time. Like, if, you're, if your opponent is putting in all this effort to defend and you're just holding him there, you're winning. And that's something I was like, right, I needed to hear that. And that really changed my game, especially from the mount. All right, um, let's get ready to roll because it's getting cold it is in getting here. Cold. All right, guys. So, um, Adam and Josh are going to have a roll. Um, we're going to do sub only. No time limit. Okay. Touch and let's go. All right, we've got a bit of hand fighting here. Both just feeling each other out, looking for that takedown. Just going for that arm drag. Ooh. Little clash of shins there. That was so annoying. Yeah. Nice. Nice little hip throw attempt there. All right. So um, we've got, we're doing sub only. Oh, Adam's on the back. Bottom hook is in, top hook's in, choking arm is down. So ideally, Adam wants to move <coughs> over to his other hip. Just choking arm up and free it up. Which is what he's trying to do here. But Josh's left leg is preventing that from happening. Can't quite see what's going on there, but Matt's there with the uh, ideal angle right there. That's okay, that, mate, as long as we're getting that on the cat, because I think these two cameras aren't picking it up. Hey, Josh is fighting for survival right now, it sounds like. It's okay, he's almost got his shoulders to the, he's almost got his shoulders to the mat there. Okay. Well, he was correct earlier when he said it's, um, Adam's trying in the back. Yeah. A lot. Ah, oh, he's back on it. Oh, look at the strength, look at the strength. Uh, keep that focus, lad. Oh, we've got he's an not armbar got the, he's attempt not got the head here. Controlled. Looks like Josh is out of it. Nice. Oh, lovely. Regard. Good regard there. Oh god, pass up for that. Pass He's going for the to back the there of things, you're gonna chase it. Good stuff, gents. He's going for the back. Both hooks are in. On the back again. See that Kimura grip right there? Oh yeah, I do. I love it. <laughs> Matt, do you want to just walk around here and get the, get it from this uh, from this angle? So, yeah, lovely. See what them hands are doing. There's only one camera rolling this year. That and uh, and three three. Sweet. Can't quite get under the chin there. Josh is about to clear the bottom hook, it seems. Or is he? Oh, he's got that gripped up pretty well. Ah! Oh, ah. Okay. Nice. Lovely. Well done, gents. You were spot on before. You said you, 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 look, you look for the back, he's getting everyone's back. Everything. Yeah. Uh, Adam wins. Oh, 
Rear naked choke. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great one. Great one. Thank you. So, yeah, nice one, gents. Very nice roll there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, can we have uh, a little uh, post roll breakdown from, from you guys? A crazy breakdown. <laughs> yeah, we had a good little stand up hand fighting. Um, I was able to get round to the back somehow. Yes, you did. On the feet. And then what I'll be looking to do from there, I don't know what happened, but I'll be looking to do a like spin around the corner and foot sweep. Or you can kind of go the other way and like trip going backwards. Um, and yeah, once I got to the back, I remember getting that rear naked grip, so hand around the back of the neck like that. So I've been trying to remember to get that grip around the back of the head and do it like that way instead. But I couldn't quite get under the chin and I didn't feel like <laughs> choking the jaw. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I think I switched <laughs> to the Kimura grip arm bar, is that right? Got the angle, put the foot over. Couldn't quite get the arm across my chest, it was kind of out here. Then we, we, uh, there was a little, uh, what's it called? A sprawl for, mm -hmm. the, for the top position. Came up on top and you got me into your guard. And then I passed from there. Uh, did the chair, chair sit back take, right? Um, and then this time it was a case of like, yeah, offering multiple threats, going for the arm again, trying to choke with one arm and then sneaking in the other one for the finish. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, like when I was on the back, we were both breathing. Oh yeah. And I, was, I took a conscious effort to be like, okay, slow it down. We're both I could tired. feel you relax and that, it made me worried. Like, <laughs> why are you relaxing right now? <laughs> you should be working hard. Um, and did you go for the, uh, the foot lock from yeah, back. I tried. When you when you first got the hooks in, I tried for the footlock. Obviously, far too advanced. I mean, I had to pull them out and get on the hip instead. Yeah, I tried for the parachute escape, the Hannah Gracie parachute escape. Um, mm. But that, <laughs> I think I've done that too many times now. Yeah, so you just she... straight wrapped my neck and were like, come well, here. I think this time I went for the arm grip straight away. Because yeah, it, it can be quite been. difficult to reach over to get yeah. ahead. You got to the back, um, you, you had that grip on him. Yeah, I was underneath arm. the chin this time. Yeah, I'm trying to control this arm down here yeah. until the last possible second and then quickly pulling that across because there was, I think there was a point where I was trying to rear naked choke the first time but you had both hands on the choking arm and that's when you're just going to burn out a lot of energy as the attacker. Um, and some people just try and go for it, they really squeeze and if you're strong it works but it's not the most efficient way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's worth attacking something else. And I think that's what it's all about, knowing when to move on to the next attack. Because um, yeah. it's, ju it's just a game of stress, jiu-jitsu really, isn't it? It's just overloading them until they can't keep up anymore. So like, you know, the first few attacks fail, but if you keep going, there's one that they're gonna mess up on. Nice roll, gents. Nice roll. Um, so now it's uh, me and Reese. And uh, who's going to win out of us? I'm going to triangle you, Greg. You're going to triangle me. <laughs> so um, we were rolling the other day, and Reese must have triangled me about five times. You Probably. Yeah. So? After the second one, he was on another triangle, and after that point, I was just to be a twat. I, something would be obvious, and I'd, I'd just leave it because I was solely looking for the triangle. Yeah. You know what I'm going for, though? I know what you're going for. So if I get triangled in this roll, I need to have a word with myself. <laughs> <laughs> On the converse though, I, uh, I like to play that guard and often hunt for the Kimura. And sometimes when I go for it, you can shut down my knee shield and pass guard and often you end up in a head and arm position. And yes. sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, but you obviously end up passing the guard. So that's what you're looking for with me? Well, I, I like to play I like to play that because I like to either go for the Kimura or use it to sort of um, take my sort of outside foot in, bring it under and, and yeah. sweep over the top. If I keep hold of the Komodo grip, I can, either, I can either come on top or I can then come round for the back. But you, you sometimes can shut down the knee shield or as I try and bring the outside leg in, you sort of windscreen wipe your, your legs and sort of bring them over, come round and I'm kind of fucked. Or you'll sort of step over and go for the arm bar from the Kimura. So it's kind of, if I don't get it, I am at risk. So, it's, uh, so that's, the, that's the thing I've got to watch out for because we often end up in that zed guard position. Yeah. And it's kind of, who can draw first? Can, can I get that grip on you and sort of get, you know, get you up and over? Or can you shut it down, pass the guard, or step over for the armbar? Yeah. So that often 
if that's what happens when we roll. So, um, but you can't start angle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I am definitely going to try and win this. I mean, uh, Reese is one and zero against me on yeah. this podcast, um, but I'm feeling good at the moment. Yeah, so. No, you really are, mate. I think I think it's safe to say that you are the more skilled practitioner. Um, you definitely uh, tap me. Uh, more, I think I, I feel like I've tapped you once. More than once. Recently. Yeah, no, yeah, you got me. You got me with a rear naked last week, didn't you? And that was yeah. tight as fuck. It was lo- It was lovely. But we do have a good scramble. Oh yeah, we do. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think we're both we're both feeling good at the moment. Yeah. We're both sort of like inconsistently sort of between three, four, five times a week rolling really well, feeling fresh, in decent shape as well. Like you're, you've put a bit of weight on, but muscle-wise, like you're definitely looking bigger. Yeah. I said to you the other week that you're definitely on the test or something, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's getting 40, his hair's going, but... <laughs> Keep getting yeah, asked that. Good right now, so you, you can feel it, the strength, but with him being a sort of, you know, a, a ex-ballet dancer, not ballerina, yeah. and obviously a climber, he has the dexterity and the flexibility where he can combine it both, so he can kind of dig in and wrestle, but he can also get in weird positions. Let's do it. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, right, so now we've got uh, Greg versus Reese in this bout. Uh, the prediction is Reese by triangle. <laughs> Greg, what's your, what's your prediction? Uh, I don't know. Really naked. Really, really naked, okay. Greg. Uh, all okay. right. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Hell yeah. Right, shake hands. Sub only, yeah? Sub only. Sub only. No time limit. All right, let's go. Let's go. A little bit of hand fighting. Oh, both going for collar ties. Oh, nice little arm drag attempt. Both just feeling each other out. Greg with an arm side wrist and short. Oh, Reese with full guard, nice. Breaking the posture. Greg managing to stay on his feet. Beautiful Reese outside wrist control sweep. and a dummy nice. sweep. Oof, good recovery. Great guard control. Lifting the hips up Surely there. Surely really not. <laughs> Greg trying to go 2 0 one down onto the guard. Uh-huh. Reese definitely looking for that triangle. Control the neck, break posture and start walking his legs up. Greg controlling the outside wrist. Oh. One butterfly hook in. What are we going to see? Ooh. Beautiful little bit of flexibility there from the former ballet dancer. Excellent grab retention from Reese. This is a great little bow. Definitely. Greg managing to gain some posture, trying to pass. He's Into this half guard for Laura now. That Reese was talking about. Yeah. Greg's got to defend that arm. Put it on hit. Watch it control perfectly. Oh, it's deep. In deep with this figure four lock on the wrist. Battling to keep that half guard in. Hips out there. God. Greg would really love to turn the corner. Oh dear, oh dear. So Greg had to give up the sweep there. Into the armbar. To prevent the submission. Don't look for armbar, but it is right. Are you even friends if you don't shit talk? <laughs> Ooh, he is going. Greg intercepting the triangle attempt as previously predicted. We're back into the armbar, maybe. Still got this Kamori with him. Oh, he managed oh, to clear oh, it. And the scramble back to the feet. Well done, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Yeah. <laughs> back into a very, very tight neck. Greg, Greg pulling guard pulling straight into the double butterfly hooks. Oh, Reese, excellent wrestling. And Greg with some fantastic guard retention. And back to this battle. One breaking, one trying to retain. Still anyone's match. Anyone's this match. stage. 
both competitors breathing heavy at this point. Greg looking to isolate. Hip hop, sweet, sweet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Opening the guard now. And back to the feet. Greg got to stay down. Retain some of that energy. Back to his feet, straight in, reasonably arm drag. You right? Yep, yeah, nope. Beautiful sport, that's my shit. Fighting desperately past that guard now. Into the fifth. And this quarter guard. Beautiful pressure management to get both Reese's shoulders and back flat on the mat. You can start working to free that leg. Beautiful lockdown by Reese there, doing really, really well. Hunting back for that Kimura, I imagine. Can't quite see. So yeah, Reese has got to be careful here with that arm hiked up. Can't let Greg pass into a uh, head and arm. Defended really well there uh, with that lockdown. Knee shield doing bits. Ooh. It's like a modified outside half scissor sweep. It was dope. Greg doing well to stay with his base. Trying to fight that outside leg. Standing there. That's one thing you can expect from a climber and dancer is the balance. Yeah, moves so well. Maybe going into HQ and I'll cut it straight for the knee cut. Hey. Excellent guard retention from Reese. And he's on that arm again. This is a knackering match. Yeah. Looking for that. Greg. Oh, the hey. oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> Tightening up under the leg. Tight. Get the arm. Don't pull that arm. You finish that triangle. Go around, lads. Go around. Uh, oh, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the finger as well. <laughs> that was a really oh, good man. round. Go on, Jim. Go and ask your winner. That was tough, mate. Oh. Uh, Much better than last time, mate. Eh? Was that? Much better than last time. Better than last time, yeah. Sends the armbar that finished you off. Yes. Yeah. So, winning by submission, armbar. Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well done, lads. Great battle, it's good to watch. <laughs> you got me. That was lovely, that. So, good roll. Aye, really good. Yeah, Reese. Be much better than the last one that uh, we had on episode two. So, le let's go through it. I think, with the takedowns, did you, did you pull guard? Yeah, I was first? pulling guards first, because I couldn't be asked trying to wrestle. Um, so I pulled guards, but then I sort of managed to you know, do the Basically, an idiot sweep, grab your ankles and just fucking put your feet on your hips. Yes, he did, yeah. Um, I think the first time I did that, I wasn't quick enough coming up, and you managed to get up and I ended up doing it again. Yeah. Um, just, just to get it down without having to spend too much energy trying to wrestle you. Mm -hmm. And you are stronger than me, so it's trying to wrestle you can be tough. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, let's not shoot a shitty single leg or double leg and get guillotine straight away. So I was like, right, I'll just play guard and let's take it to the mat and make it interesting. Yeah. It was yeah. good. And then I seem to remember you like really trying for that triangle and yeah. I, I was really <laughs> conscious of it. So I know. I um there were times where I had a good I had a good grip on the Kimura and I was like I could have uh, say I was in Zag guard, I could have brought that outside leg in so the leg which was using was a knee shield, could have brought it in to use it as like a, as like a hook to then base and lift you up and over, which I like to do. Yeah. But I was, I was like, no, I'm just going to ignore that and just purely try and get the triangle because I really wanted it, just, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. to piss you off. Yeah. Um, which, and, well, you were posting off me with an inside the Kimura on your left hand and you were posting off with the right. Uh -huh. So that was sort of stopping me from um, sort of being able to effectively put a wedge um, in to create the space to sort of bring my bottom leg, my right leg, out from once in between your legs and then up and over round, round your shoulders. Mm -hmm. you, were sort of keep, you were sort of keeping this nice and tight where I, I wanted a nice little space here 
to sort of whip it out and in yeah. round your neck. But everything everything was nice and tight because obviously you sort of you knew what I was going for. Yeah. Um, so, and then, like you said earlier on in the in the podcast, um, I had to watch out for the head and arm. So you sort of had my head and my. I think my left arm isolated at one point. Um, we were still in half guard, but I felt it going. And as I said, sort of off the camera, I had to go up to a lockdown position to hold you in place. Yeah. I don't tend to use it a lot because attacking wise, I, I don't really know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm vaguely aware, but I'm nowhere near good enough to do anything offensively with it. Um, ended up sort of in a sort of armbar position, didn't I? When I, um, I stopped on the camera and said, go for the armbar, the triangle. Yeah. And then we sort of scrambled back up from there. Well, there was a point as well where you almost uh, snapped my arm off with the Kimura. Do you, do you remember that? And I, I ended up, it I tried to deep, go around. man. That was really deep. It was deep. Wasn't, I don't think I've ever... Um, Sat in it for that long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Normally I would have tapped before then, but I was like, nah, I'm not, not tapping. <laughs> did I use that to sweep then? Did, I, did you come over the top? So, I, yeah, yeah, I had to yeah. roll over yeah, from yeah. it. So, you had it. Yeah. And then, like, I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to withstand it. I think I tried to circle around for the arm bar. Yeah, that's what I said you do, yeah. But then you started to crank it. So I was <laughs> like, oh, shit. I could feel your weight going. So I thought if I crank it, I can, I know that, you know, sort of where you, you, you will have to go with it. Otherwise, you know, you, you will be so. Yeah. Yeah. And rolled over. And then my memory is a bit hazy. Though. I think I when we really rolled over, but correct, obviously we can look back on the footage. Uh, yeah. I think when you rolled over, that's when I sort of come on top. I still had the Kamora grip, which I like to keep hold on to for dear life, basically. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, like, what do we do from here? Obviously, the armbar was kind of there, but yeah. I, I also was like, ooh, armbar or triangle. And I thought, you know what, let's try and slip my leg through for the triangle, try to go around the back of my right leg, around the front of my left leg. Kind of sort of, should I go for an armbar? But no, I'm going to keep hold of it. Mm-hmm. And then kind of forgot what happened from there, actually. I think, I think we sort of reset. Yeah, I think I did. I stand back up, and then you were sort of down, sort of on your knees. Yeah, and yeah. And we yeah. carried on from there. And you, you uh, went for a sort of butterfly sweep. Um, yeah. Did you get me over? Nah. You, if, if you've watched the yeah, episode two of the podcast from from about I think July, maybe August, we we had a match here, and it was much different. It was kind of it was over and. And much quicker, wasn't it? Yeah, like a minute. I was yeah. just, I was just limp. I was like untrained as well, yeah. and yeah. But Robbie as well um, beat me in that one. But I feel worlds better. Oh yeah, you could tell. I could, I could feel it. You know, there was yeah. yeah. I was getting gassed. Yeah, I, I could, yeah. I could tell you breathing a little tell, bit, but yeah. it's, it's the intensity because we're treating it like it's, like it's a match in a way. Where in the gym, we sort of it's different, but because we know we're on camera and we're taking the piss of it, you know, it's like I'm saying like, oh, I'm gonna triangle you. But I've got to watch out for the head and arm or the arm bar from the Kimura. And then he fucking triangled me. I know, but you, all, but you almost did both moves. So obviously, you trapped the head and the arm to go for the head and the arm. So you tried to step over for the arm bar. So you, we kind of knew what we were doing. Yeah. But I think because we both said that's what we're doing, just for a bit of a laugh, it, it didn't become like, oh, we're having a roll. It was like, we really, really want to get this one specific move on each other just for a bit of bragging rights, really, so we can take the piss for the next few weeks. Yeah, and that is my entire game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you can call it even a game. Yeah. Like, a couple of moves. Absolutely. Um, so now we're going to roll against... Um, n- none of us have rolled together before, so... I'm at these guys today. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so it's me and Josh um, are going to roll now. And uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, me and Josh haven't uh, rolled before. I don't know. We can't really say who we expect to win, right? Apart from Josh is blue belt. I'm a white belt. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay, man. Yeah. I mean, so, I'll, I'll lose to anyone at any time. I don't mind. Yes. Um, I really, you know, it's it's a good bit of fun, and um, there's so much to learn from every role. But I know you're very athletic. Um, I know you're very flexible. Um, um, I've seen some of your footage from now and then, so like I've, I've got a rough idea on how you play. Um, I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, I'm going to try my hardest. Um, and I'm with you. I'm um, willing to fail, willing to be beat. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do with it. Josh, why try? So we've got the cross-gym battles now. We've got yes. Josh from IGA Chester. Greg. Um, once again, sub only, no time limit. Are we feeling good, gents? Yeah. yeah. All right, shake hands. Greg loose and up well. All right, all the best, fellas. Right. 
We reached out to Joe Rogan, but he was unavailable. So I will be providing the commentary for this match. Greg going for the collar tie. Josh doing a good job of getting rid. Trying to establish some grips. Greg's still going for that heavy collar tie. And Greg's sitting guard, coming back up. Oh, yes. Ooh. Lovely. Lovely little entry to single leg X there from Greg. Josh is doing well defended. Yeah. He needs to take it Josh needs to move there. that left knee. And he needs to come down, put that weight on oh, his right yeah, leg. Ooh. Very nice yeah. sweep there from Greg. Greg once again hitting somebody. Don't let him cross face Josh. Like position, as you see in this round against me. Need to establish some frames. He's looking to isolate Josh's left arm. Although Greg's right leg should be trapped there in a half guard position. If you can free that leg and come across, head and arm choke is on. Josh doing a good Josh. job. Got back to a decent half guard position. Josh is on the Kimura. Josh is used to pressure, he's used to heavy cross faces. It's not something that's really going to bother him too much. Saying that, Greg doing a really good job of getting mount. Yeah, that's a tap. Head and arm. Well play guys. Yes. Like you said, finally got that W on my own show. <laughs> um, yeah, Greg's on Tren and TRT. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greg Juicy so, confirmed. <laughs> um, appreciate that. I wanna say about the head and arm choke. That's that's my go to sub. Especially because I feel like if I get on top, I can work to pass that knee shield and I like passing that knee shield and trapping the arm at the same time. Mm -hmm. So like as I'm passing, people are thinking about that leg and then they might be trying to reach over and then I trap that arm. Once I've got that arm trapped with my head on the ground, I've sort of, I've, I've worked that so much. How did we get down to the ground? So you sat to your guard and then you sort of fell over um, to, your, to your hip and took single leg X. Then Josh oh, stripped yeah. the foot and then you came with an you came with the transition to an X guard, swept him and sort of did like a sort of technical stand up with the leg to come on top, ended up in a half guard from there. Uh -huh. It was it was it was lovely. I can see him paying attention in class recently. I've been going yeah. over the single leg X to the X guard and those sort of transitions and I was watching it. I was like, fuck me, that was smooth. Um. Do you think you let me have that a little bit easy? easy? Say yes, say yes. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I was definitely, I should have been more attentive about the threat of the head and arm. But yeah, I was just saying this to Adam, like we've been working on this near side cradle sweep from bottom half. And I was like, oh, I might have this. And then as I'm working for that, you've isolated that arm and nearly pulled my head off. Um, it was a good round, man. Really good fun. Sorry. Yeah. I guess that's an interesting thing about the technique. So you're trying to wrap their head with that arm which maybe leaves it more open. yeah you've got to expose the arm yeah. to go over the head and underneath palm flat to chest i was trying my hardest there as well like as soon as i got it i was like oh, come on Did we? all right so fourth and final role of the episode uh reese and adam adam who's uh uh blue belt reese who's a white belt you guys have never rolled together before, but I think you guys have probably been training a similar amount of time. In terms of overall training time, probably, yeah. yeah. About, about yeah. Length, yeah. What are you going to watch out for with Adam? I've got to watch out for the back, obviously. Yeah, you're back on, so, you know, you're, looking, you're looking for the neck, you're looking for the rear naked choke. So, as you can see from the last match, sort of, you had the back, almost lost it, you took it again. So it's kind of, you're happy to sort of jump, have to jump back on. But, you know, it's, I've got to watch out for you know, getting my back taken, even on the feet. And then I've got to fucking defend it because, you know, once you once you're there, you know, you, you're getting you're getting arms isolated, and you got a two on one. You can just you know trap one arm and then fucking hold it off, and the choke's on. It's so easy to just get beaten. 
or just get tired out and then okay you get back on top or you get or you sort of you recover a bit of position but you're gassed out and he's just chilling happy as Larry full gas tank and you and you're just there for the taking so I've got to be really careful about not getting my back taken or if I do keeping everything nice and tight and protecting the neck and the arm what are you gonna be watching out for him <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be interesting because uh, I was against a guard player in my last competition and it's something that I think I need to work on is passing that closed guard and defending those triangles. I won't be as obvious with the triangles as well. Like, <laughs> like, there was not like, other than, I know I did get go for the armbar in the end, but obviously with the triangle sort of secured. But that last one, I was specifically just hunting the triangle. So I, I'd like to think I'll have a little bit more variety and maybe look for more of a sweep or an armbar or something from the closed guard rather than just going triangle, triangle, triangle. Let's do it, Let's boys. Do it. Ladies and gents, we've got um, match two from. All right. Come on, Greg. Right. <laughs> okay. Here we have uh, Adam for representing RGA, and we've got Reese representing Trident. Okay, match two of the Interclub rounds. On sanction. On sanction, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> representing themselves, really. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is that okay? Do we need to do that again? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think it's fine. Leave it in. Oh, um, this bit up. Okay. Sub only. Uh, no time limit. Alright. Get at it, boys. Um, top hands. Let's go. Okay, hand fighting as always with the Jets. Quite high intensity to start off with. Collar tie by Reese. The Trident boys like the collar ties. Jimmy go for an arm drag there. Guard pull. Reese pulls guard with the butterflies. Need to drop your base, Jim. It's not quite. Oh, not like that. Oh. Well done getting that leg out of danger. At least with the butterfly still. Yes, that's it. Heavy on the HQ. That's it, knee in the middle. Beautiful. Adam with the passing game. Jim going for the knee cut. Mr. Watch his legs here. Yeah. Reese inverting. Ooh. Very nice. Nice back step out of trouble there. Like that. Standing back up, wrestling again. Love that. Nice exchange there. Well, it's Reese with a bit of a. Going for an outside trip. Again with that arm drag. So far seems like quite a good matchup. Yep. Some nice hand fighting. Yep. Reese ne going for an arm drag of his own. Neither gent breathing heavy yet, which I like to see. Could, uh, could be in for a nice long round. Don't know about Reese, but Adam's got some good cardio. Yeah. Faint in the hip throw there. Yeah. Oh, nice arm, arm drag. drag. Lovely arm drag. <laughs> Stepped out of it. Trouble. Quick reactions. Oh, going for the single, going for the double, switch to the double. Get that takedown. Really, nice. really well followed through by Reese. A lot of people shoot doubles and singles, and if it doesn't come off in the first two seconds, they give up on it. He did a really good job of chasing it through there. That was nice. James got beautiful underhook, trying to lock up that closed guard. Yeah. Working towards isolation. Reese looking like he's going for a body lock. Ooh, nice wee. hip bomb. Denied. To lock up the guard fully. I did hear a little snap there. Was that just skin slapping Hoping skin? It or? was skin slapping skin. Both oh. these guys seem okay. Yeah. Okay, now we've Go got Reese with the passing game. Toriando pass. Go for that step over to Mal. Ooh, Jim's almost. guard is very tough to pass. He's very good at re-guarding as well. You think you passed and then you're not. It's quite frustrating to roll against sometimes. Half put a fly in. Got Reese looking a mermaid pass. Got both gents working hard now. Yeah. Heavy breathing has started. Jim liking that kind of half butterfly half. Half guard. Good lads, good round this. So far it seems like a bit of a stalemate, doesn't it? Beautiful. 
talking that leg out, going to the dog fight. Very nice from Adam here. Adam's got the under oh, Excellent. Hook. Moving his way up. Up to mount. That, yes. Into the knee cut, knee in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful. Fighting, he wants to push his knee to the mat. He's doing step. a great job of getting both legs in the way. Reese doing a great job of breaking posture. So fight for the inside. Stepping over again into like a quarter guard now. He's not allowing Adam to have that inside position on his Kimura. leg. We know he likes that Kimura grip. Oh, Reese with the sweep with the Kimura. That's his bread and butter. He's not letting go of that. Well, he's got that grip now. This is, I would say this is a bit dangerous for Adam now. Reese going for that arm bar. Limp arm, Jim, limp arm. Reese is going to try. Reese is going for this now. Turn hard into Classic him. Straight Turn on. hard into him. On. Turn hard into him. Doing well. Go on, Jim. Clear that. Oh, really well defended. Nice, Jen. Really well sure. defended. Landing good, lads. Watch your finger on that. Um, yeah, good. We're good. We're good. That Kimura sweep to armbar attempt was really slick. Yeah, really really Woohoo, boys. Neva back into the knee cut. Keep nice. going, boys. Keep it going. Let's go. It was really nice jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah. lovely stuff, gents. Love that. Back and forth. Great head wrap. Is that Amy Winehouse on Adam's ankle? <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep concentrating. Come on, boys. Let's go. Nice. Sweet. Knees in, knees in, knees in. Keep turning. Oh, Reese has got something there. He's Actually got the head wrapped the up head. there. Yep. North south position. He likes his Kimuras, does Reese. That's what he's shooting for from north south. Looks like Adam's trying to get an inversion there. Yep. Oh, is that an arm bar? Yeah, arm yes, bar. he's trying to switch from the Kimura to the arm bar. That's lovely. Drag him down, Jim. That's lovely. Oh Turn your heels. God. Action. We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful well defended by Reese. Didn't allow Adam to get his other leg through, which would have made it a lot easier for him. Sub attempts from both gents. Oh, Lord. Or is this a Dars? It is a Dars. Oh, Dars Lord. attempt looks pretty good. Keep fighting, Jim. Nice. <laughs> GG's, boys. Great round. Great round. Look at that. Dars, you have all right, we'll uh, win by Dars from Reese. Been great round. Fuck me. Shake hands, gents. Was that a tough round? Yeah. Gas, yeah. Gas. Yeah. Gas. Come on, come on now. Our arm close, you know. All right, gents. Um, wicked round. I think uh, fight of the episode. <laughs> that's one of my f matches, rolls, anything. That's one of my favourite times I've ever rolled anybody. Really? It was like proper, that was back and forth. Like I was in some bad spots. Yeah. And right at the end, I was like, oh. I've got him. Fuck, he's got me. <laughs> oh, I've got him. So it was like, it was at any point, I was really wary and conscious that I could just be fucked up, like in, a, in, a, in an instant. I feel but, like that's where like the flexibility can get you out of trouble sometimes. If you can just like get that leg over for the arm bar. Um, I think my left leg was trapped to get like both legs over to really force it, but you defended it really well. Yeah. I noticed your stance was like really wide. So you were right over me. So you had the angle cut on me, sort of like the sort of 90 degrees angle where it was like prime to just, you know, your hips are under and I was like, shit, the only, I say, the only thing stopping me from getting fully, like get from you getting full extension on the armbar was, I still, I kept holding that Kimura grip. Yeah. And I was holding on for basically <laughs> fucking dear life because I know if I, if I let go, then the arm's gone. But it, obviously I can't hold on forever. What's, what's stronger, my arm or your legs? Yeah. Your legs are much stronger, so it's like, fuck, what do we do? And I managed to sort of, you, I think I used my knees to kind of, to take out the leg that you were going to be swinging around and then come back on top and the dart was just there. And I was fucking holding on for dear life because I said, I'm struggling to make a fist with this hand from holding on to those Kimuras. <laughs> and obviously at the dart at the end, I was squeezing like fuck. Yeah. So I was like, if I don't get this now, I was like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, <laughs> my, my guard's basically passed. And... I've got no, I've got no fight left in me. I was like, shit, please just tap out. Look, I want it over and <laughs> done with. <laughs> and then you, I went, I got the idiot, the dummy sweep or the idiot sweep. But 
I almost didn't because you were really good with the posture. You were right, you were right on me. Yeah. You had your hips in. He's the kind of guy where you can attack one thing and if it doesn't work, you just go straight to the other. So I was in, the sweep doesn't work, but whilst I'm fighting it, he's just like, okay, you can have that, but as, as, I'm, as you're focusing on this, I'm gonna fucking wrap, I'm gonna wrap yeah. your neck with a ghillie. And I was like, shit. So, I, um, I also had to come over, didn't I? And I used, I used it to sweep, and that's when I was looking, for, oh, the yeah, arm, I was looking for the arm bar. I thought you were gonna have that then I as well. I thought I was like, gonna have it, because no, normally in that position, I'm like, I've got a good fucking grip, and I was like, I'm having that. Or I'm gonna come through for the triangle, but you were just like, nope, not happening. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I just get a lot of my hands, and I managed to just get up into into your guard. Yeah, but yeah, that was close. And then you kept getting up to wrestle, and like towards the end of the round, I was like, Phew. maybe I should have pulled, maybe I should have pulled guard to save the last time. Should have done. I think so. I I had a good arm drag on you once, but you managed to step away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you almost <laughs> fucking you almost launched me headfirst into the mat. You, you, you stepped in, you you pivoted in, went for a sort of throw. And I saw you there and I managed to sort of disengage a bit. That's he went for a trip and then stepped in for a throw. And I, I could see his hips and normally somebody with a bit of a grip on you and the hips sort of facing the other way right in front of you means you're going for a ride. Yeah. And I was like, how the fuck did I manage to <laughs> disengage <laughs> there? Threatens the outside trip, then threatens the inside trip. And then, and then comes hits in. fucking hip toss. Oh, all right. You know that one. Let me rest. Is that... <laughs> you do that? Yeah, you got to teach me that oh, one. Yeah. Just, I got it. So I've got a lot of work to do on it, but yeah, still... Um, Literally finding my feet with it. So when you, when you get a takedown, I didn't think I was going to get the takedown on you. I was really surprised because it was a bit of a shitty shot, but I thought, you know what, fuck it, I've not tried one yet. Go in for one because we're doing a lot of, I'm looking for arm drags and collar ties, you were the same, you're looking for trips. And I was like, go for it. And then you were defending it really well, but I was just like, fuck this, I've got to get him down, <laughs> got to get him down because otherwise I kind of, you know, you could have well, wrapped up a guillotine or, you know, just sort of pat, put me on my back and pass me guard. Like I say, after we finished the round, I got that dart in, and it was a um, normally when I come over, I'll be gripping my own wrist with my left hand, and if I'm going for a dart, I like to shoot my right hand under. But I was on the, the my weak side, and my left hand was under, and I could struggle to make a fist after we finished. And I was I had so little strength left in my hand, I was just thinking, please just fucking tap out because, like you said a minute ago, if I couldn't have got that, if you'd managed to get out, I would have basically had my guard passed with no strength to fight you off, and I'd just be like at your mercy effectively. It's kind of. I think I managed to catch the leg. I think I caught the leg. I sort of took the bars. Yeah, yeah. I was on top, and then I sort of rolled under to go for your legs because I thought I needed a better angle to try and squeeze. And I, I, could, I could feel it was tight, nice and tight. I think your neck clipped a little bit. That was uh, a rolling episode. Thanks to uh, Steve Jones um, at RGA Chester for letting us use the space. Shout out to Trident Gym um, for the skills. And uh, thank you, gentlemen, for coming on as guests for this. I hope to have you guys on again. For sure. All right. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that business. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Cut. Fun. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, oh, gentlemen. Thank you.